Desmond Miles, born 1987, died 2012. Now he was a member of the Assassin Order and a descendant of numerous family lines that have sworn an allegiance to the Assassins, including individuals such as Aquilas, Hautaye ibn Lahad, Etsu Editore da Frenze, Edward Kenway, and Connor Kenway. By age 16, Desmond became tired of living in hiding and aspired to pursue his own dreams. Using the minimal training of assassin skills he had obtained from his father, William Miles, Desmond fled from the assassin compound he had grown up in and managed to travel from South Dakota to New York City, where he found employment as a bartender in the Bad Weather nightclub. In September 2012, Desmond was kidnapped and incarcerated by Abstego Industries, a Templar organization and forced him into a machine called the Animus, that this was to relive the genetic memories of his ancestor, Hautaye ibn Laha'ad. It was Abstego's aim to acquire a map that detailed many pieces of Eden spread across the earth, which Desmond was reluctantly successful in doing. Following this, he managed to escape Abstego with the help of Lucy Stillman, an undercover assassin, and joined an assassin cell in Italy was considered of herself, Sean Hastings, and Rebecca Crane. Utilising an upgraded animus of Rebecca's construction, Desmond relived the memories of Ezio Aditore da Florenze in order to improve upon his newly obtained skills. Eventually, with the knowledge gained from Ezio's memories, Desmond and his fellow assassins obtained the location of Ezio's Apple of Eden, which was located underneath the Colosseum. Though successful in obtaining the artifact, Desmond's body was taken over by Juno, a member of the first civilization, and was made to stab Lucy after Juno revealed her to be a traitor. As a result of the shock, Desmond fell into a coma and was placed in the Black Room, the safe mode of the Animus, in an attempt to stabilize his condition. With help from the virtual construct of Clay Kazmerich, subject 16 of Abstergo's Animus project, Desmond was able to regain consciousness and found himself located in the state of New York once more, this time Rebecca, Sean, and his father, William. While in the Grand Temple, Desmond relived the memories of Haytham Kenway and Connor Kenway. This was to find the key to the sanctum containing the device needed to prevent a devastating solar wind. He also undertook field missions to retrieve power sources for the temple, coming into conflict with Daniel Cross. After his father was captured, Desmond re rescued him from Astego's Roman facility and assassinated Cross and were Riddick in the process. After finding the key, Desmond opened the sanctum, but discovered he had been misled. It was made known that the device would save the world, but also unleash Juno, who had been imprisoned because of her hatred for humanity, and using the device would also claim Desmond's life. Regardless, Desmond chose to sacrifice himself for humanity's survival, while expressing faith that his fellow assassins would find a way to stop the new threat. As Desmond was trained during childhood as an assassin, he was proficient in basic reconnaissance skills, such as eavesdropping and pickpocketing, both of which he used in his first days at Astergo. After about a week of being forced to relive the memories of his ancestor Altaïe ibn Laha'ad, Desmond develops an extrasensory ability dubbed Eagle Vision. Later on, after willingly exploring the memories of his ancestor Ezio Aditore da Firenze, Desmond gained his ancestor's freerunning skills, allowing him to scale structures easily. Additionally, he learned sword fighting and fist fighting techniques, including disarming and countering. Not long afterward, he was able to easily fend off a Templar attack on the hideout, now, after successfully fully synchronizing with Ezio, Desmond was able to use most of his ancestors' abilities in the modern era, most notably free running across Monteregioni and the Colosseum. Now, after waking up from his coma, Desmond explored the memories of one of his ancestors, Connor Kenway, improving his agility when traversing man made structures and natural elements. As such, he easily outmatched Daniel Cross's free running abilities. Desmond could also blend with crowds more efficiently and use foliage to bypass enemies undetected. Most prominently, Desmond gained Connor Kenway's deadly combat skills and dual wielding capabilities, allowing him to engage and triumph over multiple opponents during his mission to rescue his father from Abstergo. Desmond naturally used a hit single hidden blade prior to his coma, which he used with great proficiency. He was also capable of using a tactical baton in combat during the Templar attack on the hideout. After his coma, Desmond was now able to rely on his fists and legs alone, and was now wielding a Bowie knife and Daniel Cross's MK23 pistol, which Desmond obtained after killing Cross. Desmond managed to use this pistol with great skill and force without ever losing aim. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more Assassin's Creed history of videos. And guys, I want you to comment down below two things. What is your favourite thing about Desmond Miles throughout the Assassin's Creed series and who would you like me to cover next? Thank you so much and I hope you guys have a nice day.